Hey guys, this video is about Barrett's esophagus, a condition which I have, okay? This video is quite long and I must admit I do waffle a little bit in it but I'd like it if you watched it all the way through because I did a video diary uh, all the way from when, six weeks after I first got diagnosed to right to now. So I do have the answer whether I've cured it or not with diet. Uh, you can fast forward if you want but I'd probably, I'd like it if you watch it all the way through because it took me nine months to make uh, put a bit of effort into it and I'm putting a bit of effort into stitching it together just to give all you guys a heads up uh, on if you can cure it with diet uh, um, after no monetary gain from it whatsoever just knowledge for people uh, and that's about it really I'll just point out as well I'll just get this out there that where this video is shot this house where I am it's not ours we just rent it we're in a, I live in one of the most affluent areas in in, uh, in Australia and all the work is around here and I get pretty cheap rent like I say it's not my house it's almost like a throwback to the 70s so when you're looking at the video and stuff don't think oh this, this guy's uh, this guy's scruffy we're not <laughs> right I just uh, it's done us for a means to an end uh, to get citizenship for this great country we've done that now uh, we won't be here for much longer uh, and that's I just thought I'd get that out there okay so enjoy the viewing and uh, see you in a bit like I found out I had it in January I know exactly how I got it. It was from a Western diet. I used to eat garbage. I used to eat spicy foods. I used to eat have sauces with every single meal. We're talking brown sauce, Tabasco sauce, mustard, pickle lily. Uh, I used to drink. I never used to drink what I'd call a lot of alcohol. But my problem was I used to drink every single night. And it was always carbonated. So the bubbly stuff, worst one. Uh, I used to have like maybe four little bottles. But every single night. I never used to. I just, just relaxing, having a drink. I'd probably a lot of people do it. Uh, I used to do it every night, but then I'd eat before I used to go to bed, uh, so it was really not good. I used to have a, an occasional cigarette, maybe one a week. Never really been a smoker, apart from if I go to the pub, I'd have a few more. So that's how I got mine. Uh, and then, probably five years ago, I think it was, I threw up blood, went for the camera, told me I had ulcerations, take these tablets, PPIs, uh, one a day. Did that for about three months, felt okay, stopped taking them. Until January of this year, I woke up in the middle of the night choking, thought it was bad. Well, it was bad, I went for the camera, that's what they told me I had. So for years and years of drinking and eating bad, that's what it did. It deteriorated me, body to a, a, till I had this disease, precancerous disease. So I was Googling how to get rid of it. I couldn't find anything about getting rid of it, apart from one article I come across, which was a woman who went over to China when 39 or 33 people had this. She gave them freeze-dried strawberries for six months. They had dysplasia and they reversed the dysplasia. That is what I base my diet on. I didn't know anything about diet, about nutrition uh, before this. I knew absolutely nothing. I'm self-taught. I just learned everything off the internet. Uh, and after six weeks, I started feeling absolutely fantastic. I started feeling great. And I thought, hang on a minute, this might work. That is when I started blogging it. That's when I started doing a video diary, which you're going to see in the rest of this video. Uh, and I put, started putting my diet every single day on Instagram because I thought if I can cure this with diet I'm going to get the word out there so people know because I would like to have seen a video like this when I first got my letter uh, when I found out what I had and I was searching for it and I felt really bad if I'd have seen a video like this I'd have liked it uh, I don't take me medication anymore details beyond this video uh, and I just do everything naturally and I feel good uh, and if I could turn back the clock I wouldn't I'd do it exactly the same because uh, it was it was God telling me I had to change my ways uh, the way my diet was terrible and now I know what diet is it's everything it's the be all and end all you are what you eat and never you even used to think like that but now it's it's, it's everything I'm never ever gonna go back to the way I was uh, because that was a highway to to hell <laughs> basically it was just eating and drinking myself to death there was no nutrition in what I was eating whatsoever the way I feel now always got energy uh, I feel great skin looks a lot better if you see as this video goes along when I go back to the beginning I was chubby and ugly if anything I've gone better looking well I have gone better looking as time has gone by all because of diet it is everything okay so i hope you enjoy uh, watching this video and like i say you will get the answer at the very end of this video uh, so keep watching stick with it i know i waffle a little bit but it took me a long time doing this video and it's going to take me quite a while to stitch it together as well
to that video you just saw that was what I sent my sister for the uh, for the freeze dried berries that I got delivered uh, here are my strawberries look I've got quite a few there I had a couple of plants that died I've got more behind there I used to have chickens behind it so the ground's really fertile I put that paper underneath them because they're really ants keep eating them they're crafty they had to build the nest up and grab them got some more over there got some in there so 100% oh, you can't get more organic than that I've got to literally go around by hand and pull the creatures off them the uh, the ants and the uh, caterpillars and stuff looking forward to having them okay here is the, here's the morning ritual what I do is I come in get the smoothie that I made the night before as well with the washing of uh, the strawberries and the goji berries and the pomegranate juice leave it in the fridge to soak I come over here I shove it on here put it on close my ears because it's loud You see what I have for breakfast, you see what I have at night time, uh, and you see what I have my teas. Well, you've not seen my teas, but the, the mix match, try and keep it healthy ish uh, or healthy. Uh, again, go on to me Instagram, uh, strawberry underscore man is me. Everything that I've eaten for the last eight months, hopefully, if I can keep it up, will be on there. Okay, so my dinner today is going to consist of I'm actually lucky I'm working on a job around the corner from home. So I've just had an avocado, just eating the avocado. Normally I'll eat the seed as well, but I didn't eat the seed in this one because it was pretty big. So the missus is going to come back in a bit and do me a, a butter. So she'll probably do me a wrap, something like chicken salad wrap. I'll just have one of them, that's all we eat. One sandwich, an avocado. Of course I'll have me a packet of them. 25 grams of dried strawberries. I've just got them delivered this morning. Again, great. And this is what I hate doing. This is my beetroot juice, look. My organic beetroot juice that I made in my juicer. I probably one of them full, lasts me about a week. I have about a glass of this and I hate it. It is disgusting. So what I do is I neck it like I'm down in a beer and straight after it I'll have something nice like orange juice and I won't let the taste that my taste buds are just keep swallowing. So here we go. <sighs> Luckily, I don't let it. I don't like the taste of it. It's on for too long. That is disgusting. It's like going outside and eating dirt. Good for you. Good for me. Let's see how we go. Okay, so this is me part of me nightly routine. So I'll always have a smoothie at night. I always have me always have my strawberry one in the morning. At night, I basically have a bit of anything. Today, I got these plums. I've never had plums before. Just because I'm a bit tight, and they were a juice, and it's organic. That's the key. Organic. So that's what I use, that's what I'm into at the minute, wild organic uh, juice, pomegranate. So in here we've got plums, handful of raspberries, blackberries, okay? And have a look at these wild organic berries that I've got here. Look at, look, look at, it says that they're really small because they're picked. Look at that for a strawberry. It's just oozing with goodness, that is. I'm not going to have these today, I was just showing you. So normally I'll just go in the freezer, if you look in here. Look, as you can see, I've got all my raspberries in here. These are all organic, so I'll have some, one of them at night time. A uh, bit of mix and match, and that's what I'll have now. I'll do my strawberries in the morning. And as you can see, after eight weeks, look at that. So there's my smoothie done. So I'll just come in in the morning, neck that, uh, clean my teeth, and then go to work. I know, you, I know you're not supposed to wash them until, until you have it. I've got time for that, messing about. Just want to point them out. My brother came here for two days and then he went to stay with my sister for two weeks. Now he's back, look, he left his, he left his beer here. Under normal circumstances, if you go back in time three months ago, I can guarantee that wouldn't be there by now, I would have had that. 
just checking in, it's 10 weeks. 10 weeks since start me, uh, start me thing, me diet and all the rest of it. Panic stations, this is my last bag that I've got of totally pure fruits. I spoke to Leanne here, totally pure fruits. These are my free dried strawberries, you have one bag a day. I've got some more on the way, should be here any day now. Probably, if they're not here this afternoon, I'll be here on Monday. So what I'll have to do over the weekend is, if I don't have my bag of these, I normally have one bag at lunch a day. Sometimes you have two, sometimes even three. Uh, I will, I'll have to have a smoothie to make up for it because this is 25 grams. So what I'll do is I'll have 250 grams of strawberries to make up 25 grams of freeze dried. That's just the way I, that's just the way I work it. So some things, I think about things in a day when working and stuff. Uh, you know, one thing that I realised I used to do, I always used to do it without thinking about it, was this. I'd go, <coughs> as I'm working away and all the rest of it, do you know what? I don't do it anymore. Isn't that weird? It's not weird because I can feel myself healing. I totally, totally, I can just feel it. I feel great. In fact, I went to this place today to pick up some materials for work. And uh, this driver I've known for years, hey, uh, you alright mate? Yeah, yeah, how's it going, Gaff? Uh, oh, you look good. You lost weight. I'm telling you. I'm getting it a lot now. Now, um, is at night time I just like watch YouTube. I've started watching his food, uh, superfood channel, superfood evolution, really good and uh, really into it. And that's where I learned about beetroot juice. I try and have a glass of that a day. I'm also reading about turmeric now, it's really good for you. I'm going to have a spoonful of that a day. Um, the mixed berries are getting low. This is not a good thing. Come on. I've hammered all them. The missus started having them. That used to be full of raspberries, totally full. So I'm going to get onto them as well. I'm going to order some more of them. So I'll check in in uh, probably about two weeks from now. When just having another delivery of these today. I've just been smashing into them, desperate to get a packet out. So this is my second uh, lot of these since Jan the 7th. As you can see, you get 12 bags of 25 grams and I get six boxes at a time. So that'll keep me going for another, what, 10 weeks? I have one pack a day at dinner. Sometimes they're two, sometimes they're three, sometimes the children dig in and get one to eat. Sometimes they're three packets because the children will dig in, open a bag, eat about three of them and then say, I don't want any more. So rather than waste them, I've got to eat them. Yeah, you like them, don't you? Okay, going to work now. Hello oh guys, checking in. Today is Thursday the 24th of March. Okay, so today for instance, I'm coming home, I'm going to try and fit two jobs in at work today, so I'm in a bit of a rush. Good thing about these smoothies is that I can just knock one of them up, it's all I'm going to have for my dinner. So this one, for example, has just been a wild berry, handful of goji berries with pomegranate juice, and I've just had a mouthful of the uh, beetroot juice, which is disgusting. And look, we're getting low on berries. We've got about four boxes left. So I've just come off the phone to my mate, uh, M Melissa. And Melissa, yeah. Uh, at Viking, okay, and I've got another six boxes coming. So that's because you get ten in each box, that's six bit in total. So my freezer is going to be ram packed. They're coming uh, 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 next week. So I've got enough berries. Oh, hey, yeah, just just one more thing. I forgot, to, I forgot to show you something. Check this out. I bought this belt in 1994, right? When I, in Greece, I got it in Rhodes with me mate. I've had it ever since. Uh, and I've just carried it around with me, more sentimental value more than anything. I've just got this buckle for it here today, it's been in the drawer for ages, I've fixed it. And look at that, I just put it on, and it's right at the same mark when I was 21 years old. That's how much weight I've lost. So look, as I've got bigger, I've gone up to there, and now it's back to that one, and I'm good. Okay, so I fell off the wagon last night, unfortunately. First time in nearly 13 weeks, I had a bottle of wine. These have got a good quality one, 2013. I suppose have a few glasses and all that. Actually, now it's three quarters of all of the stuff. So, there you go. It's bound to happen. But I've got family over. We're on, we're on holiday. People that I don't see for like two years at a time. You know what I'm going to do? Sit there drinking tea. So, for the next four nights, I'll probably have a few glasses of wine and then I go back to being sober. I've also forgot my Nutribullet thing for us doing my fruit. So, what I'm going to have to do is get a packet of strawberries in the morning and eat your food dry at dinner. See you later. Strawberry cure update. I don't even know what day it is, I've not got a clue. All I know is that I've, I've had a bottle of this and it's all right. Now, how is this for ironic? I 
I've not had a drink for three months. So I started having a few drinks for six nights. It's been six nights, so I bought this. And I have some of that every night because it protects you. Uh, how ironic is that, eh? End of the six nights, end of the Gaviscon. It's weird. And here's the reason why I was using this ugly fella here. <laughs> Come over, made me start drinking. Here's my dog. Okay, back on the sober wagon tomorrow. I've still kept up with the strawberries and berries and all the rest of it. Granted, I've eaten a little bit crap. Go and have a look at me um, thing on Instagram and have a look what I've eaten. If I've even been bothered doing a diary for the last couple of days, because like I said, I've been drinking last night tonight, back on it until September. I might just have a glass of wine or a bottle when I go over to Hobart just for an holiday and look around. Until then, catch you later. Quick update, guys. Thursday the 21st of uh, Finger. Just had a, this is uh, Thursday 21st of April. Just had a delivery of berries. As you can see, we've got no room in our freezer now. Look, that's right to the back. That is, look, right to the back. We've got wild organic blueberries. We've got mixed berries. We've got raspberries. Uh, what else have I got in there? There's one more, I can't remember. But loads of berries. Always have my strawberries in the morning, but these I have at lunchtime and at tea time. Plenty to keep me going. Oh guys, it's uh, update time. Today's date, Friday the 15th of April 2016. Fell off the wagon last week. Uh, I've had 13 weeks sober. Was going to go all the way through till I next had the camera. But, uh, oh, you know, my brother came over from England and <coughs> I see these people once a year, once every two years. And you know, it's one of them, I'll just have one drink, just one glass of wine. And then for six nights, I had six bottles of wine. There you go. And uh, anyway, it's confirmed my thinking that alcohol is a depressant. It's a complete and utter depressant. I never used to think it was. But you only feel good while you're drinking, for a few hours while you're drinking. And the next day, I felt horrible. Uh, and they call it the... Uh, Nobody. They call it the uh, the the beer fear. The next day when you hung over, you're worried about everything. And I was worried about everything. I was worried about my van breaking down on this road trip because we were away as well down the coast. I was I was worried about jobs not paying me and all the rest of it. It was horrible. And I'm telling you, for a week I felt horrible. I only felt good when I was drinking, and it's a spiral. Uh, anyway. So, I last, my brother went on Wednesday, uh, so I, I last drank Tuesday night, and only now am I starting to feel good again on this, what I call the berry, uh, what would you call it, the, the berry buzz, right, of it. It's a constant feeling good when I'm on this diet. I feel good all the time, it's a level. There's no up, there's no down. It's just good. Uh, and I'm so glad I feel like this again. And Hello, update time. It's been two weeks since I last had a drink. Feeling great again, feeling bloody great. Okay, today's date is Wednesday, hang on, let me show you. Wednesday, the 20th of April, okay? Got my new iPhone 6 here. Uh, me, me update is because of this one thing that I discovered today that the missus let me discover or told me to have in my smoothies. Ginger, I'm a ginger. I put, I put uh, probably the size of your thumb in a smoothie and I tell you what, I can't believe how delicious it is. The reason why I'm doing an update is because on me, if you go on my Instagram, uh, you might miss it because I'm going to have that many posts on there by the end of this video when it goes online. You might miss it, so I'm going to get it in there now. Ginger is great. It makes every smoothie delicious. I just can't recommend it enough. I'm going to start having it every day now. Even this blueberry smoothie, normally, uh, I love the strawberry ones, I actually love them, I'm addicted to them now. Blueberry, not so much. With ginger in, delicious. Okay, diet's going well, see you in a bit. Quick update guys, Thursday the 21st of uh, Finger. Just had a, this is uh, Thursday 21st of April, just had a delivery of berries. 
As you can see, we've got no room in our freezer now. Look, that's right to the back. That is, look, right to the back. We've got wild organic blueberries. We've got mixed berries. We've got raspberries. Uh, what else have I got in there? There's one more. I can't remember. But loads of berries. Always have my strawberries in the morning, but these I have at lunchtime and at tea time. Plenty to keep me going. Hi guys, let me just check this is recording. Hello, update time. Date today, Saturday the 7th of May. The only reason I'm doing an update today is just because it's I'm exactly halfway through. Okay, I'm four months in. Eight months I'm going to try this thing out. It's been four months to the day that I went for the camera and he said you've got this. Okay, nothing really to tell. Diet's going well. Uh, if you hear outside, there's people. It's a Saturday night here. There's people partying. They're having, they're having a uh, big parties. I'd love to have a glass of wine. At least a nice warm night. I'd love to sit outside, have a glass of wine, but I can't. Stick to me guns. Uh, sober and feeling good. Okay, catch you in a bit. Hey guys, update time. No reason for doing an update tonight apart from just because I'm doing it. Okay, today is Friday the 3rd of June. Just three months to go, three months and five days before I go for the second camera. Uh, so me and the missus were just like talking before. And you know, this thing is just a blessing in disguise for me because if not, like we were saying, now what we'd, on, on this usual night tonight, what we'd be doing is just sat in the back garden, drinking and, and eating crap. And when we talk about our diet, what it used to be like, it was actually garbage. You know, when you, when you stop and actually think about it, for instance, for breakfast, I'd just have like two coffees. And then for lunch, I'd have uh, two sandwiches, cheese and ham, cheese and tomato and white bread. And probably no fruit or out. And I go to the shop and I get a coffee with maybe some dim sims or a pie or just something. And I come home and have my tea. Probably might have a bit of fruit and veg and maybe... Actually, I would have an avocado at dinner. I would have an avocado, but anyway, that'd be it. So I was thinking about it bad. I'd, I'd class it as nu it was nutritional, but it wasn't. It was nutrition, but it wasn't nutritional. It's like you were eating all this stuff, but when you think about it, what's your body going to get out of it? Do you know, bread and, and ham and cheese, just, just crap. So thinking about it, yeah, this is good thing now because now I think about what I'm eating, I think about your body, like it's, it's an engine, it's an engine, whatever you're putting in, it's, it's working, I'm talking about an engine, I'm getting ripped up now, I'm feeling good, the weight is falling off me, I'm quite happy with the weight, I'm now 10 and a quarter stone, I'd stop at this but uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I used to do boxing and uh, I always used to find it hard, losing loads of weight because I was drinking alcohol at night but now that it's coming off me easy and I've got all this energy and I'm Get back into it. I do some personal sessions now. I'm back in the gym. So if the weight falls off me even more, I'm not bothered. So be it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll might have a crack at going back to boxing. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, that's about it really. Just keeping up with a diet. Uh, exercising. Feeling good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, and the missus, she's, she's started on a diet. Like, like me, she has one to two smoothies a day because she's seen how good it's making me feel and how much more energy I've got and how my skin's got better and all the rest of it. So she's doing the same as me and she would never used to have fruit and veg and now she's having one to two smoothies a day. Uh, so really it's good for everyone. It's, it's, it's just great. And I, also I can't believe the amount of people I meet who I talk to who are taking the Nexium, the stuff to stop your stomach acid because like I don't really watch TV. I just go on YouTube and I just watch things like this uh, about fruit and superfoods and all the rest of it and it leads you on something else, something else. But I watched one where someone was talking about that and uh, how your digestive tract affects your whole body because it pulls the nutrients out of it and it does certain things and all the rest of it. And if you start messing about with it, like taking that next to you every day, it starts messing your body up, it starts doing other things. Uh, same as the injections, what they give children. I don't agree with that, uh, but anyway. Okay then, that's another story, I won't get into that. Uh, next update, I don't know, but I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Date time, date today. 
is the 7th of June, okay? 7th of June. Ironically, it's three months, almost to the day I'm going for the camera because I'm going to book it for the 8th of, uh, 8th of September, three months from now. Uh, I would have loved to have done this all the way through and said, you know what? For eight months, I've not been sick once. Isn't it amazing? Considering I have neutropenia and I have low white blood cells, mild neutropenia, uh, I, th I thought it was it was going to be great. It's going to be like I've not been ill, but do you know what? This afternoon, I started feeling horrendous. There's a flu going around, and I've got it, and I've got it bad. My alarm has just gone off on my phone at eight thirty. Nil by mouth, which basically does exactly what it says on the tin. Nil. Oh yeah, update time. Today's date. Monday, the 20th of June. Okay, so we're on the final uh, furlong now. We're on the home straight. We've got the camera in uh, September 8th. So what, we've got like 11 weeks or something like that. Okay, so I've made this new juice. I call it the C, 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 A and L. Right? C, C, C and L. The A in the end stands for Apple. So what's in here? Because like now I don't watch TV anymore. I just watch YouTube at night time. I'm just looking at all these health channels. And uh, in a minute I'm watching this bloke called Chris Cured Cancer. Uh, and watching all these interviews with people. It's great. Really interesting. So that's where I got this idea from. Uh, I've done my own version of it. And what's in this drink here is cabbage, carrots, coriander, apples, and a lemon and I'm gonna start throwing a, a, some ginger in there as well because ginger makes everything delicious update time today's date Sunday the 24th of July okay update today is about figures uh, so I worked something out just very coincidentally today and uh, it's on an exact number so on average since January the 8th of this year I have eaten 500 grams of strawberries a day, okay? That's average. Some days I eat more, never really eat less. Now, bear in I always have my strawberry smoothie, 250 grams in the morning. Uh, lunchtime, I always have 25 grams of freeze dried. They're the equivalent of uh, 300 grams of fresh. So that equals 500 grams. Now, don't that's just strawberries. That's not including the apples, the bananas, the kiwis, whatever other fruit I can cram in there as well and the other berries uh, so anyway so I've worked it out so far to the day if you work out I've had 500 grams of strawberries a day guess how much I've eaten since January from, from January 8th so today one ton one ton of strawberries it's a figure to think about huh it's not including the other fruit a ton huh Hey guys, update time. Today's date is August the 10th. I'm not going to show you on my phone because I'm going to use it in one minute. Reason for today's update, I'm going to ring up and I'm going to make the appointment for my camera. And can you believe it? I'm really nervous. My heart's twitching. I feel uh, feel nervous and I shouldn't be because of all I've done. Let's have a look at today's dinner. Okay, one banana, one apple, one avocado with the seed and a packet of strawberries. So since the other day I've started uh, reincorporating sandwiches back into me lunch, healthy ones of course, because uh, I think I was hammering the fruit a little bit too much. Uh, but oh, just last night I just didn't have time to make a sandwich so I just threw, went, I just threw a load of fruit in a bag. Uh, so this would be basically a bit of a one-off. Uh, I'm going to start making a big salad uh, tonight. I think, I think I'll probably do it tonight and then all I'm going to do is take the salad to work me every day so it'll be my smoothie in the morning salad at, uh, at dinner time and then tea time in normal tea and then another smoothie which I'm starting having green ones now not fruit okay so cutting down on the fruit intake a little bit uh, because it was always a means to an end I was never going to continue like this hammering the fruit it's just uh, too much just too much even and let's see if it's worked hey eh? so I'm nervous now I'll probably be deleting the sound from quite a bit of this video for me uh, me personal details but I'm going to be ringing it now the same place uh, I've got my coffee here. This is one of the only bad things that I do. Ever since coming to Australia, I've got addicted to this and it's bad. I need to stop. I need to definitely cut down. But, you know, I've quit drinking alcohol and I've quit all the bad food that I used to eat. So, this is the only thing I look forward to, really. I probably will be keeping with my morning coffee, but I've been getting a little bit greedy and I've been having two a day. So, it's time to cut down on that. Uh, 
and get back to just one a day and try and stop it completely. And lastly, before I make this phone call, next week I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be stopping caffeine. I'm going to be cutting out the coffee for the first time ever in my life. Uh, I'm just going to have juices. I've always had all, all I'd, I don't really drink enough water. I just have a flask of tea or one tea bag. I have it really weak, so I'll probably get me hydration from that. Uh, so yeah, next week, for instance, I'll be just having like apple, apple freshly squeezed apple juice for instead of my morning brew, and then just juices all day. Uh, really healthy juices. Check my Instagram and log on there. Oh, I've got 27 followers now, <laughs> so it feels like I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> okay, let's make the phone call. There we go. It's the same place. Here we go. I'm nervous. Endoscopy plane speaking. Oh, hiya. I was wondering if I could book in for an endoscopy for four weeks, please. Okay, gastroscopy or colonoscopy? Uh, gastro... gastro yeah. Don't, yeah, don't want it goes down. Yeah, yeah, no worries. And you've got a referral letter from your GP? Yeah. Okay, so in four weeks' time? Yeah, if I could have it on September the, uh, September the 8th. September the 8th? Is that at Frankston Bayswater or Mary Warren? Frankston. Okay, update time, 22nd, here we go, going in, apprehensive, a little bit, nervous, not really, let's see what happens, eh, que sera, sera. see you in a bit. Hey guys, today's day, hang on, what is today's day? Of course, it's the 22nd of September, okay? Can you see that? 22nd of September, which means today I went for the camera. Uh, so I went down today, I was pretty confident when I went in. I, was, uh, I wasn't nervous, like, the first time I went in I was really nervous and I didn't know what to expect. But now that I've hammered the diet and all the rest of it, I know that diet cures anything. So I really wasn't that phased. And I went in and I sat down with a doctor, had a brief chat with him. I didn't go into too much detail. He said, why are you here? And I said, because I want to check up on this. Blah, 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 blah. It's only eight months. I know I should go back in a year, but I want to do it a bit sooner. Uh, but I think I might have a good chance of curing it because I've, I've changed my lifestyles and diet and stuff. And he said, you cannot cure this, it's, uh, it's 100%, you can't cure it, it's, that's it, once you've got it, you've got it for life. I beg to differ, I beg to differ because I know diet can cure anything, uh, especially this, okay? So I got my results back, check my Instagram, so basically it says C0M1, okay? So I totally googled that, I've looked into it, it's under the Prague, uh, Diagnostics, whatever, how do you... So C stands for circumference. The first time I had this done, it was C1, M3. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that. Wait till I go back to my home and I'll, uh, I'll dig the thing out. Which stands for, obviously in the next video I'm going to totally explain it. One inch up, diseased. Three inches high, diseased. With, with the, like the splashes, I don't know how to explain it. Go on Google what balance looks like. Okay, so I went down uh, today, had my thing, and he said, it's totally incurable, oh, it's totally incurable. But I said to him, that mm, I, I disagree with that, mate. I think you can cure it with diet. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't. And he's taking your PPIs. Now, I don't take them no more. You don't take them. No, I don't take them, mate. I don't believe in stuff like that. I'm just going the natural route. Oh, okay then. See you in there. All right, mate. See you in a bit. Went in. Results C zero M one. Do you know what that means? That means there's. I'm gonna do it tomorrow on another video, but it basically means there's nothing. It means we've got a pathetic little bit, a little stubborn little sliver of Barrett's esophagus that I will completely cure with diet. I'm waiting the histology results now. The difference is eight months ago I got await histology results and I was to the point of 
extremely cons extremely concerned, having a nervous breakdown, thinking, I'm dying. Bloody hell, I'm dying. Whereas to now, as I've completely changed my diet, and, uh, and I'm almost certain it's, it's totally cured, not even concerned in the slightest. So, oh, hello, dog. Oh, please. Let me introduce you to my beautiful dog. This is Tedward. Do you know, whenever we stay, he comes with us. Because he's gorgeous and he's a guard dog. We, we don't leave him at home. He's a cavoodle. He's got his own... Uh, he's got his own Instagram page as well. Uh, because whenever we stay, we think, what, there's a fire or something, or a swan breaks in. This little guy will... will It'll be on the ball, you, you will, won't you? You wake us up. Okay, so, cured. Basically, <laughs> totally cured. If there is a tiniest little sliver and that guy's right, don't worry about that. I'll get back on a diet if you can. Okay, so, we're doing champagne tonight, but we're going to stick with Guinness. Six cans of this, back on the diet. Back on the sober wagon us from tomorrow. Uh, and I'd probably say I'm going to go for a camera in maybe three months just to get rid of that stubborn little bit. And then what I've done is just prove the point that diet cures anything. I mean, if it can cure a precancerous condition like this, that he said to me, Oh, no, 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 you can't cure. Yes, you can. Uh, it's like. When you go to a medical place like that, they make you feel like, how can I explain it? They make, they make you feel like, oh, yeah, okay, that must, that must be true. Oh, if it, you, because you're in all the nice places, it's all clean, and people, you know what I mean, walking around, and with the clipboards and all the rest of it, you think, oh, mm, mm, okay then. So, what they tell you, you think, oh, yeah, that's right, you can't cure it. Bulldust, of course you can. We are made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. Of course I can cure it. I can regenerate. <laughs> Obvious. All you gotta do is just change your diet. Ex just change your diet. Completely change your ways and you can do it. You can do anything. See you in a bit. Next update. See you in a bit. There you have it. The proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Aye, man, I've done this. Just with diet. So let's have a look, eh? Let's have a look. Let's have a geese. Okay, so as, as I said before, I will be leaving this house, but I don't want to be broadcasting my name and address all over the internet. And not only that, my doctor, my actual doctor, is going to be following me, so I don't know if he wants his name and address, well, his name going all over the internet. Come on, focus, will you? So I've deleted that for reasons, for them reasons. Okay, so... Let's go back to June 2011, okay? Grade 2 ulcerations. You can pause it and have a look yourself, okay? So not so good, grade 2 ulcerations and whatever, and that's where they recommended the uh, proton pump there, which is basically tablets, which I took for three months and then I stopped taking. I'm glad I did now. Okay, let's go to Jan 2016. So let's have a look at this. This is like the worst one. So we've got C1M3. I'm going to explain what that means in a minute. Not not so good, and it's also got grade B reflux of esophagitis. Esophagitis is tears in the esophagus, grade B, which is the middle one. Uh, I'm going to explain that in a minute. Okay, there's the the, the uh, histology. I was waiting a week for that. Very very scary week. Absolutely scared. Uh, can't tell you how scared I was. I thought I was dying. Okay, as you can see, no dysplasia. Uh, here we go. Se September, eight months later, okay, eight months later, as you can see, C0, M1, so basically what that means is one tiny piece of Barrett's esophagus left, and that's it, gone from uh, what it was to that in eight months time, uh, now if I would have done the diet 100%, I did say in the video I was going to stop having coffee, and only have fruit juice, only have uh, squeezed juices and, and all the rest of it. But I didn't. It was just it was just too, not hard, hard, but just too much. So I didn't do that. But I'm sure I could have cured that 100% if I would have gone extreme with a diet, if I would have gone hardcore. Okay? But I've not. I've just plodded on. I've certainly had cheat days. Everything is on me. Uh, 
on my Instagram there so you can see me diet. Okay, and there is the uh, histology results for that. Negative for dysplasia, that's the main thing. And I wasn't worried in the slightest when I went and got these results. Not in the slightest, because you can't go from you can't go from that to that, okay, and have dysplasia. That just wouldn't make sense. Uh, not only that, diet cures it, just smashed it, okay? Not wasn't worried for them results in the slightest. So let's have a look here. This is two scale apart from the size of the esophagus, which I don't think is that big. So that's what it was eight months ago, okay? If you so it's basically one centimeter up there, all that is the C, that stands for circumference, that's all diseased, with M meaning maximum a three centimeters high. Okay, so there is splashes. I've just estimated to a three, there could have been more, who knows? Uh, and then them lines are esophagitis, they're basically tears in the esophagus. I had grade B, which is halfway, so if it's grade D, they extend all the way across. They're just basically tears all the way through. Okay, so that's what I had in Jan 07. Fast forward eight months on my diet, that's what I've got now. So no circumference, uh, nothing at all, all totally healed. One with one pathetic piece of Barrett's esophagus left, measuring a maximum of one centimetre in height. Uh, and let me tell you, his days are numbered, completely numbered. I'm just going to continue on the diet. Trust me, he'll be gone very, very soon. So there you have it, guys. Look what I've done, eh? Just with diet. Uh, all I've done is, well, you can see it for yourself. You can go and have a look on my Instagram. I'll probably keep posting on there uh, for a long time because it's sort of a habit. I just do it every night now. I just get on my Instagram and put it on end of the night. Uh, feel free to follow me on there and have a look what I'm up to now. I will be going for the camera again. I will be going again December, probably December the 20th, just before Christmas. Uh, and just to get rid of that last little bit, I mean, the way I've worked it out, my heal rate was, you can work it out yourself if you sit down there and do the maths, but I think it was basically three square centimetres per, per month. Excuse me, right? So three square centimetres per month. So by rights, it should be 100% gone by now, eh? Uh, and all I've done is I lifted my bed up them, uh, that, that, that much, uh, that, that much. Had my smoothies, I mean, it's all there. It's all there in black and white for you to read, uh, to look at on the Instagram. And uh, I wouldn't bother asking me questions on uh, YouTube about, oh, I've got this, uh, can I cure this? I don't know. I don't know. All I've done is I'm self-taught. Like, like I say, I, I saw that one thing, how them people did it, that woman did that thing in China. I'm going to write to her as well and say thanks. Uh, and I just, I, I just went off of that. Uh, I never even thought about diet curing anything before I had this. Uh, I just used that as my base and just, just went off that and I just started going sick. And I only based my diet on them because of that thing that I read, that study that I read. And hey, it's worked for me. And if I go for it in December and it's not completely healed, which I very much doubt that's going to happen, I go back onto the strawberries because there's my answer to strawberries. It's not the medication because I stopped taking the medication. Uh, was keeping They were keeping me awake at night and I did my research about them. And uh, that's up to yourself if you want to you wanna take them. But I certainly, uh, I won't. I won't be having them anymore. And that's it really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I say, I'm not doing it for any sort of monetary gain whatsoever. As a, if, the, if an advert comes on here, I've not done that. It's come on on its own, don't I? Turn that off. Uh, just to give you, you fellas, uh, you women as well, a heads up. You can do it. All you got to do is radically change your lifestyle, your diet, stop drinking, uh, stop smoking. And there you go. Hey, the foods that God gives us there to heal ourselves. Uh... That's it really. I'll just leave you one more video now of me, me, me weight loss, which of course a little bit of fun at the end, which is an added bonus. I look good. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. Give it a thumbs down if you want. I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Right. Nice one. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in a bit. And I hope if anyone else has got what I've had, which will be a past tense very short, very shortly in December, you can get rid of yours as well. Uh, the natural route. 
Nice one. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting Those kids were fast as lightning In fact it was a little bit frightening But they fought with expert timing They were funky China men From funky Chinatown They were chopping them up They were chopping them on 